Hey Divi Nation, welcome to another special installment of our ongoing Divi Design Initiative. And as a part of our Divi 4.0 release, we've been giving back to you, the Divi community, by providing you with six brand new Divi Theme Builder Packs, which are created by our design team for you for free right now. And today we're sharing with you the fifth Divi Theme Builder Pack, which will allow you to get a brand new design for your entire website up and running from A to Z in no time. And if you aren't an Elegant Themes member yet, go ahead and take advantage of our 10% discount, which is going on right now for a limited time. Check the video description for more information on that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this fifth Divi Theme Builder Pack and how to use it. The fifth Divi Theme Builder Pack features some beautiful designs for your templates. Up here at the top, you'll see a global header featuring the menu, the logo, some wonderful call to action buttons throughout, and even a search bar here. And this is the post template design featuring the post template title, some metadata, the featured image, post content, the author information, some related articles. And at the bottom, you'll see this beautiful global footer. And here's the product page template. for all of your products. Here's the category page template or archive template. And also a really cool 404 page template. Now to download the files to import the theme builder pack onto your own website, you'll want to go to the blog post and you can check out the video description for a link to this post as well. And you're gonna want to scroll to the bottom of the post Find the download the theme builder pack section. There you can find this email opt-in here where you can enter your email address and click the download button. Then you'll see the download the theme builder pack button. Go ahead and click it. Once downloaded, you can go ahead and unzip it or open the file folder. And inside the Divi theme builder pack five folder, you'll see the all the different JSON files for the individual templates. You're gonna to want to select the one that says uh, Divi Theme Builder Pack 5 All. Uh, the one that says All will import all of these templates to your website at once. And now that your file is ready to go, let's go ahead and go to our WordPress dashboard. And we need to go to the Divi Theme Builder by navigating to Divi Theme Builder. There you'll see the Divi Theme Builder interface. You're going to want to go to the portability options. So to do that, go to this portability icon here at the top right, click on it, and you'll see the tabs for exporting and importing. We want to import, so select the import tab, and then you're gonna choose our file, and make sure and update these options to override the default website template for your current theme, or to allow the import to override existing assignments on the current theme, but since our Divi theme currently has no templates installed. We're just gonna leave the to checked, which is fine, and click Import Divi Theme Builder Templates. And as you can see, click of a button, I have all of my templates installed and ready to be used. Make sure to click Save Changes so that the templates will be saved to your theme. And there's five main templates that are gonna be designed, ready to be used. The first one is your default website template, which applies to all your pages and posts throughout your website. And this one has been given a global header and a global footer. And to go ahead and view or to edit the global header, you can click the edit button here. And this will bring up the template layout editor where I can use the Divi Builder to update the design or make changes however I would like. And it's important to note that whenever you make changes to layouts using this template editor, to go ahead and save your changes first before exiting the template editor. My 404 page has a custom body template and I can edit that one by clicking on the edit icon and it'll bring me to my template editor here where I can make changes or I can just leave it how it is if I want. The post template has been assigned to all posts and it includes our global header and global footer. And of course it has a custom body which can be edited and the, the custom body template for our post template is using dynamic content to pull uh, information from the post 
uh, like the post title, the metadata, the categories, the featured image for the post, the post content, and our category page post also has our global header and footer and has a custom body template that can be edited by clicking the edit icon. This category page template also uses dynamic content to pull in the poster archive title along with some uh, blog modules and other modules that are pulling in information dynamically. Our product page template is assigned to all of our products on our theme and it has a global header, global footer, and also a custom body which can be edited also. And as you can see, it has a nice custom design for our products. And it is using the Woo modules to pull in that product information dynamically. And with all of these templates in place and saved and ready to go, I can go ahead and check the live site to see what a post, a product, or a 404 page would look like. Let's first check out a post. Here is a simple mock post uh, that was created. And you can see that this is not using the Divi Builder at this point. It's just using the default WordPress editor on the back end. And I can update this blog with all the content I need here and, and the categories, tags, featured image, all this information. And it will automatically populate our post template. Let's go ahead and check out what that looks like. And here is our post on the front end, as you can see, using the post template design. Now let's go ahead and check out a product. As you can see, if I viewed the product to edit it on the back end, um, all of the information is entered using the default WordPress editor back here for my product. Um, and I don't even have to use the Divi Builder if I don't want. And I can view the product on the live site. And you can see the design is already in place from our product page template. And finally, let's go to our post categories and check out what a category page would look like. And there you go. Without doing anything, I already have a wonderful looking category page template for my website. And of course, if I go to a URL that doesn't really exist on my site, uh, you can see our beautiful 404 page pops up. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. If you liked the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our blog newsletter, our YouTube channel, and like us on Facebook. That way you don't miss out on any future freebies we'll be throwing your way. Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you in our next video.